Now that it's September, minds are on pumpkin spice lattes, football season, and all things flannel and gourds. But hang on, can we rewind and go back and talk about summer just briefly? Like, literally give me 60 seconds here. So Climate Central just dropped a retrospective report on the heat that was felt from June through August across the globe. You know, summer in the Northern Hemisphere. And spoiler alert, there was plenty of heat to go around. Now for the tiny print part, this analysis used Climate Central's Climate Shift Index. That's attribution science for how much have humans messed up the weather to figure out climate change's role in temperatures worldwide. You know, the effects of human-induced carbon pollution from burning things like coal, oil, and methane gas. So here's the big lines to take out of the report. First of all, every single day from June to August, at least one in five people on this planet, that's at least 1.8 billion folks felt a strong climate change influence on their weather, like every day. Also, nearly 955 million people, so almost a billion humans, experienced a month or more of risky heat days added by climate change. A quick pause here, risky heat days means temperatures hotter than the 90th percentile of what an area normally sees, the hottest of the hot temperatures expected. And that's important because this is where heat-related health risks start spiking. All right, let's zoom into the U.S. real quick. In 42 U.S. cities, mostly down south and out west, the average person lived through at least one month with a strong climate change influence. That means heat that was made at least two times more likely to occur because of carbon pollution. The cities sweating climate change the most, you ask? Honolulu, San Juan, West Palm Beach, Miami, Tampa, Sarasota. We're talking 65 to 99% of their summer days walking out the door into unusual above average heat made more likely because of heat trapping pollution. I know, I know, it's summer, it's supposed to be hot, right? Well, here's the thing, every 10th of a degree we warm this planet, it makes weather more extreme. This past season's heat, it fueled wildfires across the globe. Europe had its worst wildfire season of record. Canada saw its second worst wildfire year. The U.S. got hit with catastrophic floods over and over again, including the deadly Texas flash floods. Even Finland and Norway, countries where you pack sweaters in July, saw consecutive days of record-breaking heat never before experienced. So if this summer felt different, you were right. You are living through climate change in real time. To read the full report and to find all the data, it's live right now at climatecentral.org. Go check it out.